Look, don't get me wrong, guys. I, I think it's hilarious, and, and I totally get that the sex thing is what made me popular, but would it kill us to just once tell a joke that brings glory to God? Eight years ago, Glenn opened a restaurant where he was spying on ladies peeing in the bathroom. As part of a class action settlement, he entered rehab, and that's where he found Jesus. The restaurant was called Sprinklers. That should have been a tip-off. He still runs dumpies, but I'm pretty sure that one's legit. As the star of the show, Peter likes to stay involved in the writing process. All right, butthorns, which one of you idiots wrote this script? Uh, I did. Oh, would you write it, like, on a computer? Yeah. So you know a lot about computers? Yeah. Can you show me how to turn off the flashlight on my phone? Don't touch my phone! And another thing, I read this piece of garbage script. It's only one page. That's never gonna cut it. Uh, that's just the cover. You can turn the page, like this. Well, why are you hiding all these pages behind the first page? What's wrong with them? Stand by your work or get out. Now spit in each other's mouths. You know I'm only tough on you because I hate you, right? Yeah, over the years, Peter's become just a total nightmare. I mean, you know, he's not Jim Belushi. He's not peeing in Snapple bottles on set, which is like a totally real thing. But he's, he's pretty bad. Dad refuses to interact with any actors on set. He'll only rehearse with helium balloons with crudely drawn faces on them. I'm sorry, Meg, but you're grounded. But, Dad, the prom is tonight. Over. You hide your father, Meg. Over. Peter, you ready to hit the drunken clam? Over. It's difficult having to give up my chair for the balloon, but that's the business we call show. Excuse me, Joe. The fat man's behavior has been deteriorating for quite some time, and I think someone may have placed an anonymous phone call to the network about it? You have no idea how bad it is here. He screams and yells and he makes a V with his fingers and then licks it like la 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 la, which I am to understand is something dirty. Please do something. And if possible, I'd love a Master Chef t-shirt. Word around the stage is they've decided to finally fire Peter and replace him with another actor. And this time it's permanent. Not like when we killed off Brian for a few episodes so he could shoot that crappy movie. What was it? It was a remake of Old Yeller where the dog gets the drop on him and kills him first. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> they miscalculated the number of dogs who buy movie tickets. Yeah, it's actually pretty awkward. I mean, Dad's the only one in the whole production who doesn't know he's being fired. But he'll find out tomorrow at the table read. This is how we did that. Bet you didn't know. The Table Read is where the Family Guy cast reads aloud that week's script to see how the story and the jokes are working, and where Peter will learn he's being written off the show. Okay, everybody, welcome to The Table Read for this week's episode, entitled Peter Dies, We're Really Serious, No Joke, He's Dead and Never Coming Back. Oh, and there's other pages. You gotta turn them. Yeah, let me show you. Interior, Griffin's living room, day. Brian, Meg, and Chris watch TV. Lois enters upset. You guys, I have terrible news. Your father is dead. He was shot in the head while killing himself. I suppose he had his demons and his enemies. Wait, I'm... I'm what? Oh, oh I know. Stewie's gonna fire up his time machine and undo this. Stewie enters. Brian, bad news. My time machine got a virus that causes Dad to die again if it's ever used. Oh, well, you know what? I, I bet this is all Chris's dream. Wow, I am wide awake. Okay, but th there's no way this is real. They'd have to bring in someone to replace me. Uncle Ricky, played by sitcom buzzard David Spade, enters. Hi, everybody. Uncle Ricky! Hey, guys, a time period called. They want an object back. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we have to go to Dad's funeral? Let's just play with Uncle Ricky instead. The family cheers. They do not miss Peter. 